Hello, everyone, and welcome to Messages of Hope. And here you have Natural Health with MG. My name is Maria Grazia Bevilacqua. That's where MG comes from. <laughs> and I'm a doctor of natural medicine, and I have multiple specialties in regards to the natural healing arts. And one of the things that I'm really passionate about is educating and helping people understand that the body's programmed to heal naturally. Okay. And one of the things that I specialize in, it's called orthomolecular nutrition. It's basically the chemical composition of food, nutrients, therefore, and also what it recalls in regards to associating foods with supplementation and also medication. So let's have a conversation here about supplements. How many of you out there take supplements, right? We all do. We all have an understanding that supplements are good for you. Now, let me give you a little bit of insight here, okay? In regards to supplements, it is important to understand that the most of our nutrition and therefore supplementation comes from food. Yes, that's all it is, right? And let food be thy medicine and medicine thy food. So this is where my conversation is here for you to understand that the first and foremost source of vitamins and minerals comes from your nutrition. Now, it does help to have some supplementation, especially during this time that we're going through a pandemic, and therefore it is necessary for you to boost your immune system, okay? So most people are concerned about having a very functional and therefore proficient uh, immune system. Now, some of the things that I want to bring to your attention. Last segment that I spoke to you about, it was about your digestion and how the digestion works. Now, the digestive, digestion, um, digestive enzymes, therefore the acids that break down the food in the stomach, guess what? They break down also the vitamins that you take in a supplement form. They're for the pills, okay? And therefore, most of that gets dispersed into the gut without getting the 100% absorption into the gut, all right? So you may be taking a multivitamin. Now, there's no source 100% that guarantees that a multivitamin is efficient. However, what is important to understand is that there's ways to take multivitamins and there's also types of multivitamins that are more specific for you. So let me, let's start with an understanding. First, you want to consider your age group, okay? You want to consider from children, teenagers, young adults, therefore in their 20s and therefore in their 30s, then we're in their 50s and so forth. You want to understand where you're at with, with an age category. Then you also want to understand what is your lifestyle, okay? You want to pay attention. Uh, do I have a sedentary lifestyle? Do I have an active lifestyle? Do I burn more calories? So there's a whole big concept around getting, taking supplementation. However, don't waste your money on buying all of this stuff, okay? There's only a few out there that are quite uh, I, I would recommend. However, I'm not here to, to actually advertise any brand, but you may want to understand one thing, okay? The two vitamins, essential vitamins that I most likely work with is vitamin C. Of course, once you have abstracted from your food vitamin C, sometimes you may need more vitamin C required because you're dealing with a health concern or a health issue and you want to have more vitamin C. Now, some people may ask, do I have consequences? Can I overdose on vitamin C? Now, vitamin C cannot be produced by the body. You only have to take it through supplementation. Therefore, the body does not recognize it as something of its own. It's a foreign agent. Therefore, it's a nutrition, okay? And it takes what it needs. So if your body needs more, it will absorb more. If your body needs less, it will absorb less. It won't recognize it. So therefore it will get consumed and therefore go through the body. So there's no such thing as an overdose in vitamin C, okay? So in some cases there's, 
there's people that are taking, like myself, I do take up to 6,000 uh, units I use of vitamin C. And that is because I'm dealing with um, my joint pains. I'm dealing with arthritic, arthritic pain. It can also be for boosting my immune system because I don't feel that great this time. You know, you want to have more of an immune system built up. So you take more vitamin C. However, don't worry about overdosing on it. Go ahead. Worst scenario, it will just go through the pipes. <laughs> okay. Now let's talk about vitamin D. Vitamin D is actually the vitamin from the sun right now the sun finally is out and that we work we can have you know that into our system easily now what i'm what i want to bring to your attention is that you can have vitamin d up to four thousand units a day according to what is it that you're dealing with if it's something for maintenance there's no point of even taking it however if you're using it because you're dealing with a health issue again joint pain or arthritis or what, whatever pain a muscular level. Therefore, you need to reduce inflammation in your body. You can, vitamin D is actually considered one of those vitamins that reduce inflammation and boost immune system together with vitamin C, all right? Then another thing you want to look at in, in taking is first and foremost, um, your hydration. You want to look at being hydrated. It is very important to be hydrated. I cannot stress enough to be hydrated. When you're talking about hydration here, you're talking about 78% of your body. Okay. So if you don't have the proper hydration in your body, no vitamin or supplement will be able to function because it doesn't have the fluidity and therefore the flexibility to go into your system, into your metabolism, okay? So it gets stuck, it gets dried into your intestine and doesn't go anywhere. Now, some people actually ask me, what type of supplement should I have? Now, there's many of them out there. There's the capsule, there's the pill form. Now, the one that I, that I recommend the most, the type of form of vitamins and supplementation are the liquid form, vitamin D, vitamin D3 liquid form or the omega-3 liquid form. Also, those are important as the omega-3s for the brain so that the brain gives the impulse to the body to boost up its immune system, all right? So this is a, a conversation that requires a lot of, of, of time for us to get into that. And I will get into uh, each detail about vitamin and supplements further on into this conversation, okay? And, and into the next episodes. So just right now, just want to give you an understanding that, you know, we can take supplementation. However, it's not guaranteed it will work. And there are some people have had great results and some people have not. One thing you want to learn is that the body is programmed to heal. You may take supplementation and if the body requires it, it will absorb it. If it doesn't, it will just go right through your body without even having any, um, any effects on the body. Okay. So this is it for today in regards to vitamins and supplements. And you do may want to do, you want to make some research in regards to um, what type, what you're dealing with and what are the supplements that are more appropriate for you. So feel free to ask me any questions. I'll be more than happy to give you the proper supplementation and the proper recipes and, and home remedies for you to do at home that you do not even require to go and purchase these supplements. Okay. So thank you for following me here today. And um, I want to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe below. If you want to have more of this information coming into your YouTube channel. Okay. So thank you for following me here on Messages of Hope. Looking forward to seeing you again next week on Thursday. Don't miss Health, Natural Health with MG. Take care now.